Hello, Sarah Kimmel here with Family Tech Zone, and I am here to bring you this week's tech news of the week. So let's get us started with uh, Google Wi-Fi routers. So Google is really getting into the hardware game. They released the Google Pixel phone, the Google Home device, um, lots of different uh, hardware devices, and this latest one is a Wi-Fi smart router. Um, you can get one or a few, and you can pair them throughout the house, so you can have coverage for your Wi-Fi all throughout the house. And it's going to be super easy to get it set up. It'll have an app. Um, that you download on your phone, easy to share your guest network with uh, with guests and things like that. So uh, be on the lookout for that. You can pre-order the hardware now and uh, it'll ship in the next month. Anyway, um, so that's Google's Wi-Fi router. Up next, there's been a ton of chatter about fake news this week. Um, it's been just kind of the talk of everybody. Obama's weighing in on fake news. So um, it's becoming a real problem on Facebook, on Twitter. Um, and what it is, is it's just articles that people are sharing because it's got a sensational title, you know, really clickbaity articles and they are completely false. So um, definitely be on the lookout when you are sharing articles on these websites that they are legit articles um, from legitimate news sources. There's a couple of um, extensions that you can install on Chrome. Uh, one's called Fake News and um, one is called BS Detector. So um, you can install those and it'll tell you if this news site has been reported as a fake news organization. Next bit of news that we've got is Domino's in Australia successfully um, sent an order via drone to a customer. So uh, that is on their radar for sure. Um, soon you'll be able to get pizzas via a drone and I think that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, no more tipping the driver. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, they uh, successfully placed that order in Australia and it was delivered and um, it looks like it was a successful test. So uh, be on the lookout for that, hopefully to start hitting the United States. That would be great. Uh, next bit of news is Pinterest has a new explore function. So um, explore is actually going to have trending pins and uh, you'll be able to go to the explore section and discover new content. Um, and I think this is really a great move for them. Um, I don't necessarily want all of these pins that are from people I've been following. Um, I want to check out what other people are pinning. Um, and so a trending area is going to be really beneficial, I believe. Um, and especially beneficial for people like me, bloggers. Uh, if we can get in that trending board, um, then our traffic will definitely increase. So, um, so definitely check that out and let me know what you think of the Pinterest Explore board. So uh, then we've got... Um, Oh, right. Google, again, um, has released a photo scan app. And what this will allow you to do is take a picture of a picture from your phone. So you've got all these stacks of photographs from when you were younger, before digital cameras. So um, you can take those pictures and snap it with your phone app and the app is called photo scan it's available on android and ios and uh, you'll be able to um, cut out the glare from because i know when i take a picture of a picture from my phone uh, there's usually you know the flash or the glare on it it'll remove that kind of stuff and um, really look like an actual scanned photograph and it'll help you save it to your google account and uh, looks like a really fun app. I hope you give it a try and let me know how it goes. That's the tech news I've got for you for this week. I was really hoping that DirecTV Now was going to get released this week and I could talk about it, but oh well. But um, yesterday, Pokemon Sun and Moon was released and my daughter went and picked it up uh, right after school. She's been saving for months. So um, that is the new release for today. All right, have a great week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you'll get notified of these tech news segments. And I hope to see you next week.